welcome to Anchor Moments. I'm Gina LeBenz, and I'm here today with my new friend and guest, Stella Crowell. Hi. Hi. <laughs> Stella and I met, gosh, what, just like two weeks ago oh, or so? Yes. <laughs> it's not been very long, but I met her at the Chandler Chamber of Commerce, mm -hmm. and we started talking, and she told me how she is a Godpreneur, and I thought, <laughs> I like that. I'm going to have to use yeah. that as a, as a hashtag sometime, Godpreneur. Yes. How cool is that? Yeah. So anyway, Stella, tell us a little bit about yourself. Okay. Well, I... Um I have a family of five. <laughs> I don't know where you want me to start. Oh, okay. But, yeah, so I, I have three little ones who keep us very busy, me and my husband. We are out in um, Chandler, and we, we have a business that we, that we run together, and okay. we get to actually use it as an ministry uh, with, within our, with our family as well. You know, and our team is called The Messengers. Oh, so, how that's neat my is shirt. That? That's, that's what the shirt. Oh, yeah, says. yeah. Let's see. What does it say? Messengers. The messengers, yes. fanatics. Yes. Oh, cool. Yes. So, and it, it's a financial business, uh -huh. you know. Um, but we educate families. So, it, to us, it's the good news that we're spreading. But we make sure that we're spreading that, that we always speak to um, families, you know, like at every opportunity that we can get about the gospel, and you know, because that's that's our, our number one mm -hmm. in our life is in our life is, is Jesus, right? He's the reason why we're here. He's the reason why we have a business. You know, he's, you know, so we want to make sure that we always glorify him first. And thankfully, we're able to do it. You know, that is so cool. Yeah. yeah. And I saw that light in her. She was just so lit up. And I thought, oh, boy, I think I have one spot left. I need to see if she's available, that she could be on my show. Thank you. Now, Stella, my show is called Anchor Moments. Yes. Because my guests tell about those special times when they really feel God's presence, either directing them, guiding them, or just loving them. Yeah. Can you tell us about some of your anchor moments? Sure. So I've, I've, I've always had a relationship with Jesus. You know, mm -hmm. um, I grew up in a really, like, broken home, you know, um, well, a divorced home, you know. Mm -hmm. um, but I always had a relationship with him since I was little. Um, I always knew him. I always talked to him. But I didn't know until these last, I want to say, two to three years of how um, much of a closeness that I can actually have with him. You know, and, and I will say when I figured that out <laughs> by meeting, God has just placed so many amazing people in my life mm -hmm. um, at the times that I needed it. Uh -huh. You know, and it was uh, a lot of times, you know, uh, with family, you know, we always have those family issues. <laughs> you know, mm -hmm. a lot of people I talk to, they can relate, you know, and um, so I went through a lot of, you know, family um, situations that, you know, were really hard. And um, in those moments, he placed the right people in my path, you know, mm -hmm. and and I grew stronger. And in, in those moments, I was able to develop a really strong relationship where I was just completely reliant on him. Mm -hmm. You know, sometimes you have to go through bottom line to mm -hmm. uh, really, really um, reach for him and have him, you know, pick you up out of it, you know. And so during those times, I was, a, I, was I, I definitely grew a stronger relationship with him. Mm -hmm. um, I was able to just really talk to him all throughout the day. Um, and then all of a sudden, people were placed in my path that I can relate to and share with them, you know. So it made my faith stronger. Um, he's he's mm -hmm. definitely um, just changed my life. I know that once I, I, I said, God, what do I need to do? What do I need to let go of? You know, so I can have a, a stronger relationship with you, and he he made it really clear. You know. Yeah. Now mm -hmm. I want to get a specific story. Yes. So when you did ask God, mm -hmm. God, I want to have a stronger relationship with you. Mm -hmm. What happened? So I went through this this you know searching for different churches, right? Just trying to find this relationship, trying to find mm -hmm. this, this closeness with him. Mm -hmm. And I kept looking for it through people. Mm -hmm. And I kept looking at the way people lived and the way people, you know, whether it was pastors or leaders in my life, I kept looking at them and comparing them and saying, okay, well, they do this, so what, you know, so I should do that. Or, you know, and, and I was just very confused. Mm -hmm. And so one day I was in my kitchen and I just said, God, mm -hmm. I want you to tell me. I don't want to hear it from anybody else. Mm -hmm. I thank you, Jesus, for the leaders that you placed in my life, but I want to hear it from you because you're my father, you know, and I want to hear mm -hmm. it. And he did. He, he 
he told me things that I, you know, things I needed to shut the door to. Um, and a lot of the things that he, he really just did it for me, <laughs> you know, and then doors were opened, you know, and it, in those moments when I started saying no more often to the world uh -huh. and yes to him, like my, my relationship got stronger. I heard him more, you know, and it, it, it just, it really just wrecked me <laughs> mm -hmm. amazingly, you know, and it, it definitely changed, like my eyes are open. You know, I've, he's he's transforming, and I'm still in the transforming process. That's you know? okay. And um, but he's definitely transformed this person of just you know, you know, thinking this way to mm -hmm. to you know being where you know, being with your eyes opened and just letting him lead the way rather than me trying to figure it out myself. Mm -hmm. You know. And when God is leading the way for you, mm -hmm. can you describe to our readers mm -hmm. what does that look like? and feel like to you because there are some people mm -hmm. who you know may go to church mm -hmm. and you know and listen to the to the sermons or in the catholic church listen to the mass mm -hmm. and still not know exactly how to hear and follow god yes so so okay. explain a little bit more of what that looked like okay for you Yes. Okay. So, um, and I, I will say that you know the the leaders that God has placed in my life, my my pastors. I love like he he brought me these new amazing pastors mm -hmm. in our in my family's life, and I, they've just really opened my eyes to a lot mm -hmm. of things, and I, I love them so dearly. You know, and their messages are just you know like how you feel when you're in church, and you just get that strong like oh that's amazing. Mm -hmm. But um, you take that, but it's so important because that's one day a week that you're at church, you know? Right. So that's a Sunday that you're at church and you know, you, you're there because you're a part of the, the, the family, mm -hmm. right? We have a moving part that we have to be at and, and be a part of, and that's what we got to do. But the other six days of the week are what you have to do too. And that's, you know, the stronger I get, you know, in my walk is by reading, staying mm -hmm. in the Bible, you know, and I, in my, my women's group I have, I, I teach how to read the Bible mm -hmm. because I, you know, I grew up and I, Thought I knew, but I didn't know anything, <laughs> you know. So I, I now there's I know how to read the Bible. I know how to teach people how to read the Bible, you know. And then just getting really, um, um, doing your devotionals every day, mm -hmm. you know. But then understanding that there's no, um, you have there's no proper way that you're supposed to pray and talk to him. No. That you pray all day, you know. Mm -hmm. And that is um, knowing that that's what builds your relationship when you know that okay, God, you're here. So what about this, Lord? I, I ask him for everything, every, like, mm -hmm. what do I wear? <laughs> uh -huh. I mean, he's, he's your father, you know, and I always give reverence and honor to him for everything, you know, and he's, he, he's there. All you have to do mm -hmm. is, is reach out and talk to him, you know, so definitely those things, just yeah. keeping the communication because his, his word is living, you yeah. know, and you can just listen, watch and, and hear and, you know. You know, it's funny that you said, do you ask God what to wear today? <laughs> I just got this shirt. And when she walked in, I was like, oh, whoa, you know, we're going to match. Yeah. I'm gonna, this is so cool yeah. to see you in that future and be like, oh, you know, and I have my new shirt that, oh. that this would be, you know, a nice set. It. So it's kind of fun yeah. that you even say that you ask God, you know, what should I wear? And then you could just yeah. feel. Yeah. I mean, it's just, you when know, you're it's, when you're looking through your closet, that this yeah, is that yeah. this is the one yeah, that he you, would want you, you to have wear. A, a piece, you know, and it's 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 everything. It's not just you know, and having those, the peace. Mm -hmm. See, that's an important thing too. And mm -hmm. I'm sorry, I'm slowing you down, yeah. but the reason that I am yeah. is because uh, even for myself, mm -hmm. and this is why this show is so important to me, mm -hmm. Stella. But when I was when I was a um, a girl growing up. My dad was Catholic, my mom was Methodist, and we didn't go to church. Mm -hmm. We didn't go to church until my parents got divorced when I was yeah. in high school. And then my mom, I remember her knocking on my bedroom door on one Sunday morning, and she said, get up, we're going to church, we're Methodist. I was like, okay. She's like, we're not sleeping in anymore. Yeah. But it was so nice to be in a community mm -hmm. of believers. But I always wondered, you know, uh, how do you follow the will of God for your life, and where do you see God present in your life? That was a question mm -hmm. that was on me, yeah. and I can tell you I did ask God that question as an adult, too, yeah. in 2015, a week before the YMCA Interfaith Prayer Breakfast, mm -hmm. and I told God 
I'd been working really hard for the YMCA. It was a part-time job, but I was working like 60, 80 hours a week. It was like every moment that my eyes were open, I was putting on that prayer breakfast. Mm. And I remember Jeff would call me at midnight and go, Gina, <laughs> come to bed, come on, <laughs> turn the computer off. And I'd be like, okay, dear, and I'd turn it off. I'd go to bed and I'd wake up at four in the morning and think, oh, I need to check with this other person to see if they're going to sponsor or, or who's, you know, they haven't given me who's going to be RSVPing and sitting at their table and I've got to get this done. And I'd yeah. sneak out of bed and I'd be back on the computer again. Mm -hmm. So I was like all in for like 10 to 20 hours a week. Okay. And so uh, my family was kind of tired of missing me and I'm working so hard for such a teeny tiny paycheck and that it was, it was time to have another job. Mm -hmm. And so a week before that prayer breakfast, I prayed to God and I told him, I don't get it. Mm -hmm. People say, follow the will of your life. I go to church. I, I understand the stories in the Bible are fantastic. And it really teaches us how to live a good life with values, mm -hmm. to be kind to others. Mm -hmm. And, you know, stories of things that happened in the Bible really happen, happen now, too. And, mm -hmm. and I can relate to those. And I get that. But how do I know what God wants me to do with my particular life? You know, when he's there, like, like, how do you read those signs? So I told God, I said, you're, I know you gave us free will and you're probably, I'm probably saying no to you all the time and not knowing I'm saying no to you because I don't know how to say yes. I don't get it. How, how do I, how do I follow your will? What do you want me to do, God? So I told him, I'm going to make a huge promise to you right now. I'm going to follow your will versus mine and I will set my free will aside. But God, on on your end, you got to make the signs big. You got to make it crystal clear to me. And if you make it crystal clear and light up my path, I promise I will follow you. Mm -hmm. Well, it was amazing because a week later at that Y prayer breakfast, this is the picture of me on that day. Oh. I told a story, which is in chapter 14, mm -hmm. about uh, a lady who survived the Holocaust. Mm -hmm. And the theme of the prayer breakfast was spread joy. And this person did something to her, something really special that spread joy to her while people were dying all around her. And when I got off, uh, when I got off the stage, the audience was crying, it was beautiful, and it explained why the theme was spread joy, that we have a choice mm -hmm. to spread joy. Yeah. And we can spread joy to others. Well, this lady I'd never met before named Christine Ellis was in the audience, mm -hmm. and it really touched her heart. And so she came out of nowhere, gave me a big bear hug, and said, oh, Gina, this is so beautiful. I'm so glad I came today. I'd like to be a part of your planning committee. Mm -hmm. And then she handed me her business card, and her business card said, Christine Ellis, Holy Spirit Broadcasting Network. Aww. And Apostle Andy and Anne Marie, they created... Holy Spirit Broadcasting Network in 2015, just a few months before wow. that. And then later, Christine and I, we became good friends, and she kept saying, you need to be on my show. Uh, I have an international uh, Christian show, and you sh a television show, and you should be on that. And I couldn't really wrap my head around it, but I told her, one day I'm going to write an Anchor Moments book, and when I do, oh. I'll be your guest. And she said, okay. And then when I was on her show, I produced my book, mm -hmm. I, or I had my book, and I told her, I can be on your show now, Christine. And you know what was really funny? Is I had an anchor moment while on her show. Aww. I did not realize this was the day I met her. Wow. And while we were taping and we were talking, we realized that was the day. That was the first time I met her. And she Aww. gave me that card. Yeah. And when we were done taping the show, Apostle Andy and Anne Marie, they said, Gina, we've been praying for someone Catholic to give a show to, wow. and we think it's you. Aww. And it was at, um, and so it was just like, That's wow. Yeah. And that was a big yeah. sign. And things are sometimes in God's mm -hmm. time. So, you know, it didn't happen right away, mm -hmm. but within four years. And that was a sign that this is where I was meant to be. Yeah. Sometimes signs can show up too with uh, dates mm -hmm. and times. So, for my husband and I, everything important that ever happened in our relationship together, in our life together, happened at Easter. We shared our first kiss on the eve of Easter. Our babies were born. We have oh, two wow. babies, five years apart, within days of Easter. Wow. Yeah. And when the Apostle Andy offered me my contract, it was on Good Friday. Oh. 
for me to sign it. And I knew to sign it because I knew this is what God wanted me to do. He yes. made the path crystal clear that this is, this is where I was meant yes. to be. Yes. And so I signed that contract. And so, and, and so I yes. knew that I'd like to hear a specific yes. story. Give me a specific yes. story where you know. Maybe the first yeah. time you felt his presence and you knew this was it. I've, okay, so I I've, I've felt his presence. Um, gosh, okay. So my so my husband and I, we mm. had, you know, like most um, women I speak to in my group, you know, there's always, you know, marriage situations mm -hmm. that rise, right? And so we had a really big moment in our marriage. You okay. Know, a point to where um, it was like, uh, like divorce, right? We're talking mm. divorce. And um, this was a moment for me. God had been building me up, right? He had already, mm -hmm. he'd been putting people in my life that mm -hmm. I needed. Exactly. My sisters to, um, to fill me, to give me the, you know, my mm -hmm. fuel, to direct me to Jesus. You know, they take my hand, they put it in Jesus' hand, they guide me. Mm -hmm. So I've already been Oh, I like up. that. Yeah. They oh. took your hand yes. and put it in Jesus' hand. Yes. Yes. And then they guide you. Yeah. How beautiful yes. is that? And that's the heart okay. of my, my ministry. Is yes. Doing that. So I've, um, so during this, this years leading up to this big mm -hmm. moment with, with, with my yeah. marriage, I had all these people in my life, right? And I started like saying, I'm going to give more to God. I'm going to give more to God, mm -hmm. more time with him, um, more, you know, um, just prayer and everything. Yes. And as I was doing that, then I, then I had this big moment that pops up with our marriage. And it was a big moment. And I, it took a, it took me falling on my knees mm -hmm. and just saying, God, I just pray that you would give me eyes to see like yours, that you would let me see my husband with your eyes. And in that mm -hmm. moment, mm -hmm. I felt the shift. I no longer had this burden, because I, I had a lot of burden, mm -hmm. I had a lot of pain, mm -hmm. right? And all this that I was carrying, and it, it was so bad. I, I was already almost gonna leave, <laughs> you know? Yeah. I had our three kids, and I, it wasn't even a question, right? And then I was reminded quickly by the Holy Spirit about who's your father, <laughs> you know? Mm -hmm. And it was like just a quick thing that I remembered, who's your father? So in that moment, I fell to my knees and I said, okay, God, you said that you would take every burden from me. I don't have to carry it. So I right. release it to you. Right. I release it. And it. And I know it's hard, you know, for most people to, to do that, mm -hmm. you know, but in that moment, I felt that shift. I felt all of it just come off of me. and. That was my moment that I, I said, okay, God, you know, you are, mm -hmm. you are here. Yes. And you're not playing around. Right. You know. You and are right yeah. here I, with me. Yes. Holding my hand mm -hmm. right now. Yes. Yes. And I saw my husband completely different. I, none of the stuff that, it was all, it was like he took all that out of me, mm -hmm. cleansed it, and filled me with the Holy Spirit. <laughs> like, that's how I feel. I feel like yes. in that moment, he washed all the grime away, and it was gone. My husband was, was amazed, because <laughs> he was like, whatever you need to do. He was just so, you know, because mm -hmm. he was raised in the, in the church as well, mm -hmm. you know, and so when this hit our family, you know that when you're doing work for God, that the enemy comes to attack, mm -hmm. you know, and so we, we, we're, we've always learned that and knew that that's how it works, you know, and so when this happened, we um, we almost surrendered, right, our marriage. Mm -hmm. But rem that reminder, really quick, of who God is in our life and what why He's here, you know, and giving it to Him, you know, mm -hmm. it's uh, it's really just an action, right? Because yeah. there's so many you can say so many words, right? right? And you know, but faith without works is dead. Yeah. You know, so unless yeah. you just take it to action and say, okay, God, you know what? Here it is. I give it to you. Right. You know. And it's going to be a process, but he is so quick to just wash it away for you. And I will say that in that moment, that mm -hmm. when that happened. Mm -hmm. In that anchor, true that, anchor yes, moment. That was a big yes. moment. And that's like, you know, yes. simmered down. But um, in that moment, so many doors were opened for ministry that I did not know. You know, and like mm -hmm. I, I told God, I said, thank you, God, for, for being here, saving my family. You know, because, gosh, if I would have just listened to my flesh, I would have mm -hmm. been gone. My kids would have just been, you know. And so I said, thank you, God, for letting me see with your eyes, right? Because as Christians, we can't look at things at a ground level. Mm -hmm. It has to be elevated. So I said, let right. me see with your eyes. And so when he did that, I said, okay, God, I'm just going to, whatever you want me to do, I'm going to say yes. I'm going to say mm -hmm. yes. I, and I, yes. And I said, when 
you just like to this show. Yes, exactly. <laughs> I'm super nervous. But, you know, I said, Lord, let me be your hands and feet. Mm -hmm. and, I, and then he reminded me that you said that. So now you're going to, right? And so mm -hmm. all of a sudden, I'm getting all this coming, things I would never have done. You know, like I was telling you at the chamber that I spoke mm -hmm. in front of our church to all the women, mm -hmm. you know, and like that was the first time and, and sharing my testimony there. Yeah. And I wasn't even going to share it, but God had me do it. Well, yeah, because there's know? somebody else yeah. mm -hmm. that needs to hear that. Yeah. There's somebody in our audience right now yeah. who's at a crossroads, yeah. you know, maybe in their marriage yeah. and going, you know, I have these little kids. Do I stay or do I go? And, and the pain in me is so big. And that's the time to pray, mm -hmm. to I, pray. I, and mm -hmm. I still always have to say that out there, though. Yeah. If your husband is physically hurting you mm -hmm. and is physically hurting you and your children, yeah. you do need to go. Yes. You do need to go. You need to yes. do safety, you, yes. safety first. You yes. do need to go. Mm -hmm. And then later, yes, and when you do go, and mm -hmm. you can pray for God to help you out of that, because you do mm -hmm. need to leave when it's a safety Definitely. concern, absolutely. and that's okay. Yes. And that is absolutely okay. Mm -hmm. And once you're out mm -hmm. of that horrible right. space, then it's time to work on... Um, on praying and to have help with forgiveness. Yeah. But, you know, so it depends where you're in that space. Yeah. But I've met your husband and he's really pretty cool. I can't imagine he would ever do that to no, you. So that was not your no. not your situation. No. I was positive. Well, you know, but I, yeah, but for someone that's in that's the yes. situation and they are they are physically beating you up and beating mm -hmm. your children, you've got to leave. You've got to leave. You've got to do the safety. And you need to pray for God to help you with that. Uh, you definitely have internet, or you wouldn't be able to hear me right now. Mm -hmm. Look for shelter, domestic violence shelters. Mm -hmm. There are different There's places so that can help you, or your church, mm -hmm. you know. Um, but there are different places, or the police station, or. Um, but you need to look for helpers to help you. And those helpers are, are angels, too. Absolutely. Yeah. You know, and, and I like that you, that you mentioned that with, you know, about not with the whole marriage. You know, I would say to, to women out there or um, even husbands, right, because I know mm -hmm. many husbands who are going through it as well, is don't give up. You know, just let, just realize that the battle is not yours, that it, it's God's. It's God's battle, right? Mm -hmm. And our place is to pray because we're not here to fix people. No. Right? I'm not here to fix my husband and mm -hmm. make him be who I want him to be. I'm here to take his hand and put it in the hands of Jesus and yes. trust God that he can speak to him and that he can, you know, when I pray over my family, it's mm -hmm. always, Lord, I pray that you will just speak to them in their dreams. I pray, mm -hmm. Lord, that when they sleep, that they have your presence surrounding them. Yes. I pray when they wake up yeah. that they feel your presence around them, you know, yes. that wherever mm -hmm. they go, that they just min are ministered to by the angels. You know, I mean, as, as much as mm -hmm. I can, you know, you want to just cover them. Right. You know, and let them feel, you know, that, that mm -hmm. prayer, you know. So definitely praying and understanding that it's not you. you right. You know, that those issues, it's, it's that we, we battle against. Mm -hmm. You know, spiritual, we don't battle against flesh and bone, you know, so mm -hmm. um, understanding that, knowing mm -hmm. that that battle is not for you because you'll never win it. <laughs> right. You won't. In the flesh, you won't, you know, but when you mm -hmm. give it to God, mm -hmm. really, and just, you know, get on your knees and pray. Right. Because that's what I had to do was a lot of prayer, but trusting that God can handle it. Right. You know, and that he is the one to, to do it. Exactly. Mm -hmm. And there are so many times if you have, if you do a daily reading, mm -hmm that you'll read it and go, oh, that's what I needed today. Mm -hmm. And it's what you need. Mm -hmm. And the answer is right there. And that's yeah. happened to me a lot. Um, the Catholic Church has a little um, daily prayer guide, um, mm -hmm. Living Faith. And mm -hmm. there's so many types. And it's just a one little thing. Yeah. But it'll be like, wow, that's exactly what I've been praying about or what's on my heart. Mm -hmm. Sometimes I see it in a Charlene's uh, touchstone moment. Uh, mm -hmm. in an email and she'll talk about something that I'll go, oh, yeah. God yeah. wanted me to know that. That's what I was yeah. praying for the night before and, and, and mm -hmm. here's an answer. But yeah. answers are, are all over mm -hmm. and you just need to pray and to look for those. Yes. We and just have a smidgen of time left, Stell, yes. and thank you so much for sharing that special yes. anchor moment. Yes, um, absolutely. 
Is there a special cause or a person on your heart that you would like our audience to pray for today? Well, um, I would love um, to pray for, so I go to uh, CFTN, Church for the Nations, Okay. and we're just so big on, on, on praying for the city, praying for the nations, mm -hmm. right? And the nations are people, right? And, and um, you know, just like even in my women's group, just pray, there's just so many people who are hurting, you mm -hmm. know, who, who don't know Jesus, um, who don't know that there is hope. You mm -hmm. know, I just feel like there is a revival happening mm -hmm. right now. I feel that there is this big shift happening that mm -hmm. God is on the move. You yep. know, so I'm, 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 that's m my biggest heart mm -hmm. is to raise up prayer warriors. Yay, you know? so, I love yeah, that. So, you know, and it's funny because I was a really shy prayer. I would not pray. My husband, I would have him because he grew up Pentecostal and I would say, uh -huh. you pray when people would ask. And now, because of the people that God has placed in my life, mm -hmm. Shannon, <laughs> yay, is my girl. Um, you know, I've, I'm like I'm on fire. I'm so on fire for him. You know, so and I'm always the first. I want to do it. So, yeah, I just want to pray for everybody just to, to get that boldness in mm -hmm. there. You know, and be filled. So yeah, yeah. and to and to share their personal anchor moment stories. Mm -hmm. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Yes, because that will set you free. For that sure. That will. Yes. That will. Yes. All right. Well, I'm going to let you lead okay. us. All right. Now that you are you are a bold woman who can do oh, that. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> absolutely. Right. Thank you, Father God, for this amazing day, Lord. We thank you, Jesus, so much for this opportunity, Father, to lift you up, Lord, and glorify your name today. Father, I just lift up Gina and her whole staff, Father God. For what you, she is just her, her obedience, Father God, in doing this for you. Lord, I just pray that you will cover her, cover her husband, her family, Father God, Apostle Andy and his network, Jesus. I just pray, Lord, that you'll continue to increase, Father God, and that you would give them more. Father, I lift up all the people out there, Father, who do not know you, Jesus. Lord, I pray for um, warriors, prayer warriors, mm -hmm. Father God, to just get to work, Lord. I pray, Lord, that they would just remove anything that's hindering them from their walk, Father, so they can keep their eyes on you, and so we can get to work, Father, and lift up your name, Father. Lord, you are coming, Jesus. We're so excited, Father God. We're so excited for what you have coming, for what you are doing in the city. Father, we pray for all the people in the city, Father. We pray that you would just use everybody, that you will strengthen them, Father, that you will give them boldness. Lord, I pray that you will surround people with um, who they need, Father, to get them stronger on their walk. Amen, Amen Jesus. Thank you, everybody, and hold on to those anchor moments. The preceding program was brought to you by the Holy Spirit Broadcasting Network, HSBN Television.